The S series of cameras has a post focus mode, which allows you to choose the part of the image you want to be in focus after you've taken the picture. So let's demonstrate this. If I push menu set and I go to the camera, camera mode and I go to the others photo 2 page here, you'll see post focus, which is off normally, that's its default. Now I have two choices. I can shoot 4K where every image is going to be 8 megapixels, or I can choose 6K where every image is going to be 18 megapixels. So we're going to use 6K. Once I choose this, it's turned on. Now I don't have to focus anywhere in particular in the image. The camera is going to do that for me. I push the shutter button. Now you'll notice green squares around the screen. What it's doing is taking a frame of video at every focus point on the, in the scene. So when it's done, you'll see this wheel go around to process the image. Now when that's done, I can touch anywhere on the screen. If I want the number one ball here to be in focus and I want that image, I can touch this down, the button down here in the bottom right, and I can say save this image, which now saves a JPEG to the card. If I want I can't even tell what number that is. Let's go back there, and that's the number seven back there. Okay, now I can touch this, so I can touch as many of these as I want and pull focus frames out of this. Now, another great feature of this is up in the upper right corner here, if I push this button, I can actually auto merge or range merge. Auto merge is going to merge the best focus from every image together and basically do what's called focus stacking. Range merge is going to let me pick a range of images in case I don't want the whole image to be stacked. So I'm going to choose range merge for this one. And then what I can do is I can literally drag my finger across the screen to the ones I want to be in focus. And if I touch this button in the bottom corner, it's going to say, do you want me to merge these pictures into one image? Yes, I do. Okay. Now this, this will take a few minutes because it's taking all these frames and putting them together to hopefully make one image where everything's in focus from front to back. That's how the post-focus mode works in the S-series of cameras.